Hey, what is up training team? I am Brad, this is my YouTube channel. I am on number two for the devotional series. Yesterday I did one, and if you have not seen it, please go check it out. I got some really good feedback about it. I uh, also wanna thank the Mighty Warrior Council. It is a group of men that I'm a part of, and we push each other to be better every day. So if you're interested in Mighty Warrior Council, Go follow them on Instagram at Mighty Warrior Council. Now to today's episode. All right. Today's question is, what do you do? Okay. I found that as I got older, you know, even when I was young, it was like, even when I was in high school, it was like I was an athlete. Okay. I was the jock. You know, that was kind of like my identity. I played football and I played baseball and I did all that sort of thing. And as I got older and graduated college and got a job and got a family, it was like, what do you do if I was at a social gathering? That's all. That was like the icebreaker to start a conversation. What do you do? Which our jobs and everything are a big part of our life. But does our job define us and make who we are? I mean, I reached a point a few years ago, it was like, I'm more than just a PE teacher or a football coach. And I love football, don't get me wrong. It's what I went to college to do. I wanted to be a football coach. I knew that when I was in high school. I had definitely had some great role models as coaches who had a generational impact on me to become a coach. But on the other hand, it became kind of like, that's all I was, was a football coach. And I knew deep down that I'm more than that. So today's verse that I'm gonna share with you, Jeremiah chapter four, verse three, it says, break up the unplowed ground and do not sow among the thorns. Okay, so the way I'm interpreting this is the unplowed ground was me just being a coach and me breaking up the thorns, living, being a coach with a purpose, okay? And that could apply to any part of my life Am I, living, am I living a God, Christ-like life? Am I doing things that would please God? Am I doing things the way Jesus was? I mean, Jesus sacrificed his life for us. And what am I doing to sacrifice mine for others? What am I doing to serve others? So these are the things that are going through my mind as I'm thinking about what do you do? I, won't, I don't want my identity to just to be a football coach. When I'm dead and gone, I don't want people to look and be like, Oh, he was just a coach. I wanted to be like, oh, that's Brad. He impacted so many lives. He was such a great human, and he loved God. And he, I know that he is in heaven. That's what I want to be said about me. What do you want to be said about you? What thorns do you need cleared from your life that so that you can live more Christ-like? That's it for today's episode. I want to close out with a quick prayer, and we'll call it a day. Dear Lord, Thank you for anybody that's hearing this message today, and I want to pray that they clear the thorns in their life and find their true identity, and that they're gonna live a life dedicated to you, the Lord and Savior. In your name I pray, amen. Hey, if you like these devotional videos, hey, give me a follow, leave a comment below. I really like doing this kind of stuff. This is really getting me digging in the Bible, and I want to help spread the word. So I'll see you in the next one.